Yes. Hey everybody, it's Eric Jensen. And Hannah Bowcut. Hannah's back. Yep. Mom has the baby. So. Mom has the baby today. <laughs> Mom, Allie's been joining us lately, but really happy to have you here. So Hannah is going to discuss Salt Lake County stats for real estate right now. I don't know if I'm going to discuss or just relay. Just relay. <laughs> okay. So currently there's 409 active listings in Salt Lake County. That's homes, townhomes, and condos. Uh, we have a little over 1,800 under contract, and we've sold about 1,000 in the last 30 days. Yeah, and we, we, we pulled the numbers from last March to yeah. today. And we're about, down. Well, no, as oh. far as like sold. Yes, yes, yes. About 17,000 closings, which is really great, actually, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, you were mentioning we're down. We're down under contracts only about 7 or 8%. Yeah, from last year. From last year. Yeah. And about the same, under 10% less active listings. Which 10 doesn't sound like a huge number, but when it's a percentage, it actually is fairly significant. But Hannah and I it were It wasn't discussing... as bad as it was a couple months ago. Oh, though. not even close. So. Yeah. So the winter of 21 was, was pretty good. That, but that's when things started catching fire and we, start, we started seeing buyers and their agents lined up at the door. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's really depressing. <laughs> it, was, it was rough, you yeah. know, but the, the, the hope on the horizon is the spring. Yeah, there's more homes coming to market. Mm, so a lot more. if you're a buyer and you've been looking for a while, like yep. you might get a little bit of relief and find um, some more options out there, which will be great. There's definitely more options. I mean, I'm seeing. I get the alerts. You know, every couple hours, I'm seeing a new listing in yeah. the areas I follow. Yeah, so that's like exciting. I think all it agents is. are super happy that that's happening. Oh yeah, love it. Yeah, we just. Love our clients and we yeah. want them to be happy. Yeah, you. So Eric recently put someone under contract um, after, and you beat out thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Offers. Thirty-eight offers. So yeah. here's what happened. <laughs> Quick story. We were looking at the home they ended up getting under contract, and I said, "Guys, hang in there." I said, "We're going to make something happen. It just might take some time." And and they were, they were discouraged great. Discouraged at the time, probably after looking. A lot of down. our buyers get that way right now, but. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's a natural human tendency, but. With an agent like working with us, we keep our eye on the prize. Yeah. And and I said, guys, we're gonna make it happen. I can't promise it's gonna be this home. Well, guess what? It was that home. Which is crazy. 38, 38 offers. <laughs> and we were not cash. Okay, we were not cash. I wrote a really good, clean offer. Um, we did do a little bit non-refundable at acceptance, which I'm always a little wary of. Yeah. Um, we got through the inspection. We The appraisal was finished. in. Four days. Did it appraise? Did it appraise. Woohoo! <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. To get one done that quickly, you gotta, if you want a really good lender, hit me up. Yeah. Mindset is vital. That that relates to this whole conversation is I'm really into the, the mindfulness, kind of Buddha, whatever you're gonna call it. Eric's the Zen one on the team. Hopefully I'm learning <laughs> to become more Zen. <laughs> you are learning and yeah. I'm still learning. I'm certainly not, I'm not you know, not the Buddha. Yeah. But I love meditation in the sense of watching my thoughts and treating thoughts as just thoughts, more thinking. So when the negative thoughts, especially in the morning for me, when the negative thoughts can arise, I can just pause and say, is this true? Is this accurate? If I respond, is it going to be kind? And then the <laughs> biggest thing, the biggest thing is saying, well, that's just more thinking. So it may or may not be totally accurate. Well, I mean, and I think if you're a buyer right now in this market, like oftentimes you're writing lots of offers and oh. I think being willing to just say, I don't have control about the offers control. that get accepted. Right. I'm going to have right. to go through this process, write maybe mm -hmm. 30, 40 offers, yep. um, but know that if you're working with one of us, with us. you will, yeah. like, we'll get you into home. Oh, for sure. Um, it's yeah. just kind of a process and you have to... Be willing to find your own zen while you're doing it, right? You, you do, and and it's a really it's about taking responsibility for our emotions, and we could get into the whole psychology of it because I love it. Mm -hmm. um, in this video, we're, we're we're not, but man, it is so fun to to watch people get hope, and 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 have this mindset of abundance. Yeah. And you kind of you kind of nailed it with control, so it's really important in life to have goals and, and desires. We all need them to strive. The problem is when we get attached to those happening on a t certain time frame. Yeah, or like so attached to a house that we can't uh -huh, that, that's, right. see beyond that there might be 
another really wonderful house that you couldn't get out there. There's, there's other options. Yeah. And, you know, our higher power works in mysterious ways. You know, the whatever being of the universe you believe in <laughs> yeah. is running the show, and I know I'm not. I know <laughs> I don't have control over people, places, and things. But, but also... The positive in this is that we are seeing more things come to market. Like we aren't we really at the huge are. deficit that we were. So if you've been yeah. a buyer and like experiencing this anxiety of like there's nothing on the market, I'm never gonna mm. find anything. Just relax. Just chill. Homes just are chill. coming to market, yeah. and your perfect homes out there. And go exercise. Go drink water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't go to bed too late. Get up. You know. Don't yeah, sleep yeah. in. You know. All because those... looking for a home's like a second job sometimes. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a second job. Yeah. For sure. But we make it a lot easier. And yes. we want to sell your home too, so hit us up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>